Green tea, does it really prevent cancer? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, drinking green tea is becoming increasingly popular. And some studies suggest that drinking green tea may have some important cancer preventive effects. So where does green tea come from? Well, it actually comes from the same plant as black tea. But black tea is fermented and green tea is not. But it's from the same plant. The difference is that green tea has much higher concentrations of these anti-cancer agents known as polyphenolic compounds. ECGC is one of the important polyphenolic compounds in green tea. But these polyphenolic compounds have been shown in experiment, experimental studies to have powerful antioxidant effects. So they quench free radicals that might cause genetic damage and lead to cancerous mutations. And these polyphenolic compounds also increase detoxification in the body to get, eliminate cancer-causing agents more effectively. This happens in the liver, in the lungs, and in the intestinal tract. It's been speculated that even though in Japan where, lung can where smoking incidence is quite high, lung cancer incidence is lower than it is in the United States and Canada. And they think that because they drink more green tea, it has this detoxification effect in the lungs. So some of the harmful uh, agents in cigarette smoke is, is a little less damaging as a result of that. It's only speculation, but it may explain the difference in statistics that we see. There's other uh, anti-cancer evidence from drinking green tea. We, if the, in human subjects, if you look at observational studies, it's been linked to a decreased risk of stomach cancer, drinking green tea, that is. And that's important because one in 114 men and women develop stomach cancer, it's, especially after the age of 65. There also seems to be a link in reducing the risk of esophageal cancer, which is the third most common cancer of the digestive tract. And green tea constituents also have other anti-cancer effects. They inhibits the formation of nitrosamines, and nitrosamines are known to cause cancer. They can also attach to estrogen receptors toning down the effects of the body's more powerful estrogens, which may reduce the risk of breast cancer, uterine cancer, and prostate cancer, possibly ovarian cancer. And with respect to heart disease, green tea has been shown to mildly lower the bad cholesterol, which is the LDL, and make your blood a little less sticky, so you're a little less prone to abnormal clots forming that can be problematic. So if you're gonna have green tea, how much should you have? Well, if you click on the link below, you'll see my review article. It's called Green Tea, Its Role in Cancer and Heart Disease Prevention. I think everybody should read this article so you really understand how green tea works, where the evidence is strongest, and exactly how much you should be getting each day to get the protective uh, effects from it. All the details are there, as well as the scientific references so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based information from me. Now at MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're only getting sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should really use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.